Hello um, and welcome to another mass video. Here we're looking at um, interpreting histograms, um, and by um, and by that I mean um, filling in missing frequencies and also completing a histogram from information given. So here we've got um, an example question, um, and the key thing to remember here with histograms is that frequency. Uh, let's use uh, use white. Um, the key thing to remember is that frequency is an area. So frequency is being represented as an area. Um, so with a bar chart, all of the um, all of the class intervals for a bar chart will be the same, um, and so the, the the frequency is represented by height. Um, with histograms, generally um, what you're looking at is where the class intervals are slightly different. Notice here that the class interval has a size of 5. Um, this one here also has a size of 5, but this one here is from 10 up to 20. So that class interval is um, of 10. So it's when you get class intervals that are of different sizes. Now, um, the thing to do with histograms is um, is to break it down, make this the problem simpler for ourselves. Now we're told that um, this 0 to 5 category is worth uh, a frequency of 16. So we can say that this bar, the area of this bar, represents 16. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, cut this bar up into smaller boxes. So each of these smaller boxes um, are going to be worth a certain um, a certain frequency. Um, and I'll try to do this relatively accurately, although it is quite hard to see on this graph. So each of those are worth um, how many each? That's what we need to figure out. So we've split the box. Uh, we've split, split our bar here into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bar, uh, eight little boxes. Each uh, we're told that um, the bar in total is sixteen. So what will each of the boxes be worth? Well, each of the boxes will be worth. There's, there's eight of them. Each of them are worth two each. We can then transfer this idea to um, to the the bars in which we don't know the frequency. So if we can say that each of those little boxes is worth two each, um, all that we then need to do is figure out how many boxes are in um, the two um, the two bars that we don't know. So if I split this up into oh, that's not very clear. If I split this up into um, boxes like we just did a minute ago um, and so break it down um, widthways and then lengthways as well what I can say is that I've got six of these boxes I know that each of them are worth two and so what I could say is that the frequency for 10 to 20 um, would be 12 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 um, so the next one, 20 to 30. Now this one is slightly trickier um, because we haven't got full boxes there. What we can say to begin with what, though is that each of these are 2. And then what we can say here is actually what we've got is we've got 2 half boxes. So half a box, if a whole box is worth 2, then a half box is going to be worth 1 and so what I can say then is that the frequency for 10 to uh, for 20 to 30 is going to be 6. Now all that is left for us to do is to fill out the rest of um, the frequency, uh, the histogram, sorry. Um, so we just need to put in this one here and this one here. So let's do that now. Um, so we need um, a frequency of 10, so that means that we need um, five boxes one, two, three, four, five. So my bar is going to come up to a height of about there. So that's that one done. 
Then 30 to 50, um, we need a frequency of 8, so that means we need to use 4 boxes between 30 and 50. So that means that I'm going to have a height of oh, 1 box. Um, and so my finished histogram would look something like that.